What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. For this particular video, I want to show you guys how to remove the rear door panel of your Mercedes-Benz W204. And in doing so, show you how to access different parts behind the door panel. All that coming right up. Okay, so looking at the door panel, if you look just underneath this door handle right here, underneath you're going to see these two holes where you can see two T T30 Torx screws. You will need to remove these two T30 Torx screws in order to pry the door panel off. And then after that, we need a plastic removal tool, a plastic trim removal tool in order to pry the door panel off. There are eight push clips that hold the door frame in place that we need to pry off. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get a T30 Torx screw and remove the two T30 Torx, well, Torx screws. Okay, so just reach in underneath, make sure your screwdriver is on it and begin to remove it. That's one, and the second one. Okay, that's two. Next, we need a trim removal tool and we need to start prying from the door panel. So just put it in between the door panel and the frame and then begin and push in and pry off. Work your way around until you get all eight clips off. Okay, and there we go. Now the door panel's loose, all we have to do now is pull it towards you and then lift it up. There we go, and that's off. Once you pry the door off and it's loose, you cannot just yank the door off or proceed to pull the door off completely. You still have three main connections that you must remove in order to remove the door safely. Firstly, you have your door pin that is still connected and also you have your door latch right here as well as these two electrical plugs once you disconnect the door pin the door latch and also these two electrical plugs then you can remove the door safely for the door latch you notice that it sits in this white plastic uh, piece here and there is a cable that runs through to this black cabling what you have to do in order to remove it, you notice that there is a groove here. You need to pull back on this black cable enough to expose the wire and then lift it out like so. As you can see right there, I'll show you again. You pull it back to expose the, the cable and then you sit it in it to re reinstall it and to remove it, you pull it back to expose the cable and then lift it out of it. That's how you remove that. And then you simply just have to lift it up out of this uh, door latch and it will remove there you go that's how you remove this cable next we have the door pin and in order to remove this you notice how you see these two plastic uh, clips that sit in place all you have to do you have to squeeze them together in order to release them and then pull down and once you pull down it will release like so if you look at this notice how you when you pinch it together it expands that's what you have to do in order to release this rear door pin. You slide it up and then it clips into place with these two hinges. So in order to remove it, you press on it and then just slide it straight out. There you go. And now all we have left is these two electrical plugs right here. Now I'm going to show you how to remove them. It's very simple. It's actually quite easy. The tab to release them is at the bottom. All you need in order to remove it is a push tab and that's it. That's all you have to do. So if you flip this around, there are two tabs. Having a look at it, you notice these two tabs here? Okay, there's one for the blue one and there's one for the red one. All you have to do is push on these tabs and then you can release it. Yeah, these are the two tabs that you need to push on in order to release it. So there's one tab here and there's a tab here as well. As you saw then, all I did was reach underneath with my finger, press on the tab and then pulled it out. 
it's the same principle as this green one right here I didn't need a pick tool like this normally I would use a pick tool like this I'd press it on the tab and then pull it out like so however you don't even need this pick tool you can just use your finger press on it like so and then pull it straight out there you go and then to reinstall it all you'd have to do is push it straight back in like so and they are color coded so you can't get them wrong there's blue and red and as you can see here there's blue and red so once you go to reinstall it just push the blue one back in and push the red one back in and there you have it now we have the whole door panel straight off now with the door off if you actually look at the door frame we have access to the electrical module as well as the window motor and your rear coaxial speaker right here so if you wanted to replace your rear coaxial speaker you could simply unplug it from here buy the appropriate plug that plugs in and then you'd most likely have to cut around the seal it seems to be glued in so you can't just pull it off like that you'd have to cut around it and then remove it now I'm not I'm not going to replace mine so I'm going to leave it for now however if you're going to do it I'm pretty sure you'd have to cut it out you also have your rear door airbag sensor here also if you needed to replace it for whatever reason this would be the right time now behind this door frame you have your window regulator so in order to access that you would have to remove these rivets here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nine or ten rivets all together if you had to replace your window regulator that's what you would have to do and as you can see here this module is held in by just two t30 torx bolts and the window the motor for the window is simply held in by one two three t torx bolts and it has a plug right here which simply unplugs that's everything that you can access behind the door panel also if you were going to replace your rear door pins this would be the time also So if you have a look at my video on how to add bling to your w204 I show you exactly how to remove these so be sure to take a look at that video I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner right now and just click on that link right there and you'll see in that video there is a section that shows you how to remove this door lock pin and replace it with a new one now I'm going to show you how to access a certain parts on the back of your actual door frame from here as you can see you have these 10 millimeter aluminium soft bolts now these bolts secure the trim to the door frame so if you just remove these five 10 millimeter aluminium bolts then this trim piece would simply slide right off and this is the trim piece here I'll just show you real quick so as you can see here that is the trim piece right there okay so this used to be silver my trim piece used to be silver but what I have done is I've removed it and had it wrapped in carbon fiber but just be careful when removing these aluminium bolts they are very soft so you do not want to over tighten them because you can destroy them real easily also make sure that all your push clips for your door frame are in place also there are eight of them all together sometimes your push tabs for the door frame can be attached to the door like so simply remove it there we go We've removed it and reinstall it to the appropriate tab that is missing and to reinstall it you just have to line it up and press it back in then you have all your push tabs in the right place that's all good and also from here just to show you that you can also access this is the orange LED light that you see on the door handle yeah. so if for whatever reason your orange LED light for your door handle is broken I'm going to show you how to replace it so obviously you're going to need to buy a new part if necessary and in order to take this plastic strip off that the orange light glows through it has clips there's one here one here one there and one there 
All you have to do is get either a flathead screwdriver or a pick tool like this and slowly pry off. Okay, now you can actually pry it off from here first where the LED light shines through. All you have to do is pry this back a little and it just comes right off like this. Now make sure you pry it off. Okay, I'll show you how it's done after I take it off. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, so as you can see here, from looking at this, there is a gap here, right here. Okay, let me give you a close up. Okay, so having a look at this, if you look at it carefully, you can see that there is a gap right there, and there's also another gap on the other side. There's your LED light in there. That little white part right there, that's your orange LED light and it shines through this plastic piece right here and that's what glows and allows your door handle to shine orange. So in order to pry this plastic piece off this, all you have to do is pull back on these two black tabs. All I did was I pulled this back a little bit and pulled that back a little bit because this plastic piece just clips in like this like that it just sits in it so all I did was pry that back a bit and pry that back a bit as well and it came right off now in order to remove this plastic piece it simply just clipped in so you just get your flathead screwdriver or a pick tool and you just slowly pry it out like so as you can see it's already come off here at the top as well and you just pry it off like so there you go it's plastic so it comes right off so if you have a look carefully inside there, it clips in here and also here. And that is what this part here clips in. If you have a look, see how it's straight along here? That just sits in the groove here. You'll see it as you have a look. There's this part here that clips that it clips into and then there's this little clip here and here. So in order to reinstall it, all you'd have to do is line it up and then just push it straight back in. And it just sits back in like so. There we go. That's how it sits back in. And then you just have to push it back into its clip and there you have it. That's exactly how it sits back in. Now, if for some reason you wanted to change your orange light, which is this here, this is your orange LED light here. In order to take this apart, if you have a look at it, you have a clip, you have two, two clips. There's one here and one here. Okay, and then there's also another one here and another one on the other side here. What you have to do is, you notice these two clips here, you have to push them towards the center okay like so and then push them down that will free this up I'll show you right now okay that's one side be very careful when you're doing this because I'm guessing it will break very easily there we go so all I've done here is there are two tabs that lock this into place it opens up like this Okay, and then all I've done and then you have to push on these two tabs here or you can just open it with your finger and there we go there's your orange LED light and that's how it's soldered in so this is your actual orange LED light so now if you take a look at this actual piece this is how it all goes together Okay, so you have a look at it. You just press down and the whole thing clips back together. As you can see, there you go. So in order to take it apart, you probably don't even need a, a tool. You just part this side and also this side like this, as you can see here, have a look. And then you lower it. As you can see, this is how you part it. Okay, you do one side first and then the next side. Okay, I'll just part it. There you go. 
and there it is that's how it separates and then you have these two clips here so you just want to part them as well and it will open right up there we go as you can see that's how it opens up and your orange LED light sits in this hole right here right there so all you'd have to do to reinstall it if you wanted to change that orange LED light right there all you'd have to do is replace replace that light with whatever color you wanted now I'm not sure how to do that but I'm just letting you know that that's this is what you would have to do just simply replace that orange LED light with whatever color you want and then solder it back on now if you're just replacing it then it would be a simple replacement and obviously you're going to have to buy this part now it probably comes as one piece I'm not too sure because I don't have to replace it at the moment but this is how you would remove it and you'd either unsolder it from there and then replace this whole piece and then to reinstall it you just have to make sure that that orange light sits in its appropriate groove like so as you can see there there you go and then all you'd have to do is close it up again just make sure your orange light is in the appropriate groove and then just close it up make sure that everything is in the right place so that when you close it you're not going to break anything and that's it there and then you just close it up and there you go that's it right there and then in order to reinstall this all you'd have to do is hold down on the plastic part here and then push this up and it reclips back in as you can see there you go and that's it that's how you replace that piece so I'm pretty sure that this would come as a whole piece okay your orange uh, reflector would come as one whole piece and your orange light would probably come as another piece but that's how you dis that's how you disassemble it so that you could replace it and there you have it that's while we have it removed I just wanted to show you an easier way to remove it I've noticed that another easy way to remove it would just be to use your finger or a pick tool or a really small flathead and then just pry this apart as you can see when you separate this this center piece comes out but do not pry too hard or else most likely it will snap okay so you can either push them towards the center and then it will drop out or use your finger nail and then pry it out like that see notice how that has just come out like that I just used my finger nail and parted that and now I'm going to do the same to the other side see that now notice how that has come out now see now all you have left are these two clips here right there and there's another one on the other side if you just use your finger and kind of put a little bit of pressure between here so this doesn't snap closed okay so you just put a bit of pressure here not too much and as uh, the minute you release one of these clips it will just come straight out I will release this one and there we go that's one out and now just to release the last one and there we have it once you release one the other one will come straight out so having a look at this piece as you can see these are the clips there's one there there's one there and then there's another one on this side right there and another on this side so when you close it up you'll see it just clips back together like so and that's how you remove this piece that this here is your welcome logo right here so all you'd have to do is push it out and then install the uh, welcome logo you want and then reconnect the electrical plug right here and it'd be it'd be as simple as that also if for some reason you needed to replace your window switch button this is this would also be the time as you can see here there is a torx bolt torque screw right here and there is a plug right there there is a tab that just sits there and all you'd have to do is press on that tab and pull that cable out 
and then as you can see there is a clip here so once you remove the screw and pull out the plug for it you could just simply push this tab back and it will release your rear button switch just before we reinstall the door I just wanted to point out that if for some reason your rear door handle is floppy make sure that you check that the cable is sitting in the door latch and in the appropriate groove if the wire isn't sitting through here then your door handle most likely is going to stay open or in a weird position so just be sure that the cable for your door latch sits in here and then the cabling runs through with the wire tucked in this spot right here it's very important that's basically everything you can access on the back of your door panel now I'm going to show you how to reinstall this rear door panel it's basically just reversal of removal first thing you need to do is make sure as I said before that you have all your push clips in the appropriate slots okay there's eight of them two four six eight so make sure you have all eight orange push clips and then we can begin to reinstall it okay now to reinstall the door the easiest thing to do first in order to give you a connection that way the door won't um, just fall off however you want to be holding the door the whole time you do not want to just let it go first things first plug back in your electrical connections so you have blue and red they're color coded so you can't get it wrong there we go and next thing you want to make sure this hook goes into the white part of this door handle okay and it just simply sits in make sure it sits in it don't just have it sitting on top like that that is not properly seated you need to make sure that it is seated like that push it down and it has to clip in and then remember this cabling has to sit through this groove okay so you want to pull back on it so it releases some cable and then simply sits in like that now this is strong enough to kind of hold the door see as you can see however I do have it supported with the red chair there and I have it supported with this tripod here so that way I can film it and show you guys now I'm going to show you how to reconnect your door pin okay, now in order to reinstall the door pin just like we did we have these two clips here that have to sit in these grooves as you can see here there's these grooves so you just have to line it up push it straight up until the shaft goes all the way out and it clips in like that notice how these sit in those empty grooves it has to sit in it cannot sit like this that is incorrect it will just come straight off you have to push it all the way up until it clips into place like that just like we released it we put we press, pressed it together and then we just pulled it out just like just like reversal you just push it all the way up until it clips in like so and that's it now that is secure and your door will work freely there we go and that's it that's how you reinstall the door pin and now all we have to do is line up the door frame and then push these tabs back into the appropriate holes now before we actually go to put the door back on I wanted to show you something very important you notice these grooves here and this rubber piece here okay this rubber piece that runs along the window frame that must sit in here you notice these groove marks there's one there there's one there and there's another one right there this is the top of the rear door frame door panel that sits in here so you must make sure that this line here with this groove has to sit properly in here and there is another groove here and there is another line here also that runs along the upper door panel okay now this it has a little gap in here where my finger is going as I run my finger along it 
okay this gap and groove must accompany this rubber piece so when you go to install the door this part this gap in here must sit on the rubber piece that way it will sit flush along the window if you do not make it sit in flush the door panel will not sit flush with the door with the actual with the door frame along the window i'll show you exactly what i mean now okay so now i'm going to lift the door up and sit this groove into the appropriate slot and along the door okay so i lift it up and then i sit it in and push it in notice how it's flush along here now you have to make sure it's flush along the whole top of the door along the top of the door also now that isn't right at the moment you must get it in flush so that's not right yet i'll show you and then you push it in just like we removed it you have to get it in as close as possible there we go that's in There we go. Now that's in. There we go. There we go. Now that's in flush now. As you can see, it's flush along the top, right up against the rubber piece. So now you know that the top part behind this door panel is sitting in the appropriate slot and the rubber piece under this is sitting in the groove behind this door panel. And now it's just a matter of pushing the clips back in and you're pretty much good to just reinstall all of these push clips just make sure they all clip into place there we go and that's it now that they're all clipped in we can simply reinstall the two t30 torque screws and we are pretty much done and that's it that's all there is to it guys that's how you remove the rear door panel in order to gain access to your rear lock pin your rear door handle door latch as well as your rear coaxial speaker and your rear window switch. Also, don't forget, it also gave us access to the welcome logo. And as you can see, you could simply change it from this side without having to take off the door panel to access it. All you have to do is get a pry tool and pry it off from here and then change it out re-plug it back into the electrical connector there and push it back in and that's it you're pretty much good to go that's how easy it is guys and well there you have it guys how to successfully remove the rear door panel of your mercedes-benz w204 if you found this video helpful don't forget smash that like button and as always if there's anything you'd like to ask or if you're unsure of anything you can always leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off